Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by tbradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. A general reminder for those who do not know, MIC is having a one-year anniversary event where Bao is going to be trading live in front of our members. It's coming up August 17th. Mark your calendars. As an added benefit for our members, the event is 100% and exclusively free for annual and lifetime members. While lifetime, on top of that, get extra coaching before the event and guaranteed front row seating. While most charge for these events, we show our support by making it, again, free for annual and lifetime members. If you are interested in signing up for this event, DM TBradley90 in MIC Slack chat and or email myself at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. Now, we have a very special video for you guys this week as Joe Kelly, one of our head moderators in chat, reprises his role of his Trading Basics video series every Sunday, and this is episode 35, in which case he's do going to do a live trade of RKDA with a failed death line and a failed stop loss. And while today is just a preview of the full length video, if you wanna watch the full length or any of our exclusive content, then become a member of MIC. How's it going, everybody? So <clears throat> I wanna talk about RKDA. This is a live trade um, from Friday, August 9th, 2019. Now, this particular trade, uh, let me just walk you through the plan here real quick. If you look at the bottom right of your screen, you'll see that I've highlighted these key areas that I want to trade based on the daily chart. Okay, these are key technical resistance levels. Um, that I see on the chart. First one being three and then 350 based on this levels here and then around 390. Uh, you could argue 390 to four since four is a whole dollar. And then to me from there you, uh, you jump right to five here in the gap fill area. Now there's, uh, there's some support here that is around 450 that, uh, I mean, you could potentially play that there, uh, but, you know, it's 450 and then 5. And you've got a lot of levels overhead that when it starts running into these, it's going to start selling hard. So at the open, the plan was that it pushed to the $4 level, okay? Because 350 was the pre-market high. The 350 line ended up working to the penny perfect during pre-market. Um, so what I like to see is um, on these particular setups is I like to see them break the pre-market highs, um, get some longs in there, and then start to run into technical resistance levels. And that's, that's the opportunities to short. So right here, I start considering an order because I see that $3 is broken and it can't reclaim three, okay? So the tape was very heavy there. You could see that the ask was 295 several times and it could not break above 295. So to me, that was, that was, uh, that was the indication that this is very, very weak. Granted, there is support here at 280. So the plan was take a small starter uh, with risk above VWAP in this case, which was around 315. So if you notice here shortly, there will be a fill. So got rid of 295 seller, went up to 297, but 295 to right back over. And then here we are again, 295, 297. Again, same three line all over the place. Uh, and then 333, three, three, can't break three, can't break three. So once I see that, that is when I start to consider um, that I probably need to put a feeler on, and there's my feeler. So it filled at 290. <coughs> Again, the stop is above VLAP here on that starter. This is just a trade to kind of curb my FOMO and make me pay attention. I don't really recommend starters to anyone. Uh, now, one thing I wanna show you here real quick, I'm gonna rewind it real fast. You see those bidders right there? 
got 22K routed to uh, ARCA, NASDAQ, EDGE, and BATS. That right there is clearly someone trying to prop this stock, okay? And remember, it's at 292, okay? So now you see the reaction, it immediately pops. Everybody's going, oh, there's, there's a big block here. Now watch what happens. Okay. Where's your bidders? In 292 tests again, where's the bidders? They're not there. Here's the three break. Okay, so remember the stop is at VLAP. So right here, it breaks above VLAP. I'm going to take it off, but it didn't. Notice what happens here. Okay, let's slow this down and rewind real fast here. Real nice and slow. Let's see if we can catch where the exact spot is. Um, right. Oh. So you see these prints at 292. So it's, it's like a minute 37. Right there. So notice how there's no bidder anymore. There's no one trying to manipulate the price. Um, if you look at the tape, you can see 292. These share, these prints, they're they're definitely not 20,000 shares worth. But you do have a bidder here, 13k. So you notice he gets taken real fast. 286 sells, and then you get a 286 seller that pops up um, right here. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by tbradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.